guys, how are you? It's Charlene and I, we are here at Optima Beauty here in Jackson Heights and we are gonna be glamming up four lovely ladies. I'm doing four, Shasha's doing four. Mm -hmm. Are you excited? Yeah. We're pumped and we're we can't to wait meet to meet you. Actually, one is already here. Yeah. So. <laughs> we gotta get started. And I'm gonna be recording like kind of the makeovers that I'm doing, so I'll kind of speed through that. But yeah, happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day. Oh my god, I totally forgot. You guys are all our Valentine's. <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll see you later on. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Charlene. Charlene is in Queens still and I was all the way in Jersey but I was in Fort Lee which is kind of close to 
New York. I think I'm gonna go walk to Sweet Green, which has been like my favorite salad place ever. Like it's so addicting. They have the best tofu ever. So I think I'm gonna go get that because I kind of want a salad as I wait for her. She's probably gonna be like 30 minutes. My hair feels so good. I'm so excited. Like it feels so good. Like she really made my hair feel so bright new. Like if you would have seen the condition that my ends were in because I curled my hair or attempted to curl my hair two days ago and then I put it in a bun and a ponytail and for some reason every time I curl my hair my ends are like this because I like I tried curling them and it whatever it just doesn't work out so she thought my hair was super damaged because I walked in like with these fried looking ends and then she was like oh your hair's not that bad like it's good she said I do need a trim so I might go back to her to get a trim I don't know what that music is not sure what's going on over there. All right, well, uh, I'm gonna go walk to Sweet Green because they close in 50 minutes. But look how pretty the Empire State Building is right now. That's what that was. <laughs> there you go. Look how pretty the Empire State Building is right now. Like, this is so New York right now. This is like West 4th Street, like this area. It's so like chic, but like boho and like very like grungy. I don't know. It's just like all types of vibes. They have like papaya dog all over here and like cheap pizza and like tattoo parlors. Like, it's pretty dope. So I'm gonna go find the salad place before they close. So I made it to Sweet Green and I got um, a customized bowl. I get tofu, it's brown rice. This time I didn't get a bed of lettuce, but I got some lime squeezed in, extra lime on the side. Cucumber, broccoli, corn, cabbage. And that's about it. And it tastes so good. Like the tofu here is amazing and I'm not really a fan of tofu. So I'm gonna eat this, oh an avocado. I'm gonna eat this real quick before um, Charlene gets off the train. They also give you a piece of bread and some water. So bon appetit for me. Hey guys, new location. So I kind of sort of am in Dominican Republic right now. I took a trip. Basically, I had a trial with Amy. I actually posted her on my Instagram, but she wanted to book me for her destination wedding in DR. I literally just got into my room. My makeup looks ridiculous. My eyebrows look dark. Like it's been a long day of traveling. My flight was at, what time was it at? 4 11 and I left my house uh, like at 9 30 I got in at 10 15 and they didn't want to let me in with all reason but it's like I literally didn't even have a luggage I was just gonna go right in skip the line you know like you can skip the line if you have that and then just jump on the plane I was like begging the person in the front like please let me in he was like all right go run I'm like thank you so I run and I do this whole thing finally I get to where they check your bag and I still have some time because like they're still boarding. She decides to take her sweet time checking each item of mine. And I have my whole MAC travel bag. Like, so much stuff. She checks each brush, each product, each palette. I'm like, lady, please, I gotta go. Please, I'm begging you. And so she let me go finally. And then I run, run to my terminal, to my gate. And I'm not even the last person. There was one person behind me. But, like, the way they made it seem was, like, you're not gonna make it. They were like, you're gonna have to go tomorrow. I'm like, I can't. Even though the wedding's Thursday, I was like, the wedding is tomorrow. On the way there, we took the wrong turn and we were like in JetBlue. I guess because I always take JetBlue, but this time, I can't talk today. This time, I was flying Delta, so we ended up in JetBlue and I'm like, oh my gosh. Anyway, I made it on the plane. Just even the flight alone, I had to move seats to emergency exit row. And the two people that were sitting next to me moved with me and they were so rude. And it was just such a crazy day. They gave us like a free wine and I drank it, like a sparkling wine. And then my head hurts. I should have known better. I didn't even eat anything because I didn't have time. I literally ran onto the plane. And Anyway, the point is um, I'm here and I'm in DR. I'm in Punta Cana and I am doing a wedding on Thursday. I actually got to go because I'm going to go meet up with Amy right now, the bride. Just get to know everybody, meet everybody, and I got to eat something or else this headache is never going to go away. But yeah, I'm in DR. Just wanted to let you know. So I'll catch you in a few. Good morning, guys. It is day two. Yesterday was lit. I would say yesterday. Yesterday was lit. It was fun. We had such a good time. We basically decorated Amy's room. Um, well, they were decorating. I was just helping. And it was kind of like a bachelorette party. And then we ended up going to this like little lounge that they have at the hotel. And we just kind of made our own party there. Like we were telling the DJ to play Cardi B and like Osuna and Bad Bunny. Like there wasn't really anyone there. So it was just us. And we had a really good time. But anyway, I am heading out to I think the beach or the pool right now. So I only put on mascara because. I'm really not trying to put like face makeup. I look really pale, but I managed to get a little bit of like a sunburn yesterday, I think, in the van on the way home, which is kind of crazy. On the way home, on the way to the hotel, because I really wasn't in the sun. 
besides like that time in the van i'm bringing some black today because i'm really not trying to be red i don't mind a little red but like burnt i'm not really trying to be so i also want to get something to eat but i don't even know if they're still serving breakfast because it's about to be 12. i think i woke up at around 10 30. took a shower i have to clean my room up they're gonna come clean up like the beds and stuff and then later on i will clean up i still haven't showed you the room i'll probably show it to you tomorrow because i have a really pretty um view i mean i guess like step out to the pool so that's pretty cool like i can literally just jump in the pool from here but i'm actually gonna go around and go look for everyone i think they're at the beach this little um cover up is from fashion nova i have a calvin klein one piece on so i gotta go because i'm trying to catch a little bit of sun Alrighty, i'll see you guys later on today I'm to see oh look at these models this is going on youtube i'm 15 years old <laughs> don't try it <laughs> How old are you? You're you're old enough. I'm 20, but I'm but taken. <laughs> Cut it. Trap wedding. Yeah. <laughs> you trap queen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What is the video? Yes, yeah, it's from my vlog. My Yay! beautiful bride. I made it on the YouTube. Hello. <laughs> I'm actually leaving right now, so I'm not gonna show you the whole room because it's, it's a little messy. But this was my view the pool. So, like, literally, you could just walk right out and hop into the pool, which is what I did today. Um, I have like some weird hives on my neck, it's really annoying on my back and my neck. I don't know why, but I was tanning a little bit and then I jumped into the pool. It's really cool because the bar is right over there. They have a swim up bar also that way. But yeah, I'm out of here. See you later, Punta Cana. We meet again in this little corner that I like to sit down and just kind of open up packages here because I pretty much put all my packages right there and so they kind of just pile up until I sit down and film some of them for you. So I just want to get through a couple of them. So first up we have a package from Too Faced and we have a Hangover RX face primer and then the spray. These products are not new. I already have them and I love them. I love using this primer especially on my clients. And I was actually running out of that. So it's nice to have a new one. I have confetti here. And then they also sent over the 3-in-1 primer spray and setting spray. So this also, again, has coconut water. It's silicone-free, alcohol-free, and oil-free. I love this stuff. It's really hydrating without it making your skin super dewy. Like, if you have... A problem with the tatcha making you too dewy but you still feel like your makeup looks a little cakey and you want to kind of like set it and diminish the powdery look then this one is awesome i love both of those products so thank you to Too faced come here look look who's there who's that who's that doggy that who's that dog next i have a package from moroccan oil and i love this tiffany blue box and the bow is super cute I actually used to work with Moroccan oil and then I think they switched like PR people but I haven't received anything in a really long time so I don't even know like what's new from the brand but they sent over the ooh, hydrating shampoo and conditioner so this is definitely gonna come in handy because my scalp has been dry oh my god and the Moroccan oil products smell so good they smell like perfume like cologne like it's just I love the smell Ooh, and they also sent their Moroccan oil treatment, which I love using on the ends or on really dry hair. Like if I'm ever doing like my friend's hair or someone's over, like I always give them this to smooth out their flyaways. For my hair type, it's a little bit thick, like I have to be careful. But 
I can use this like on wet hair with no problem and I love that this one has a little pump I have like a small bottle of this and it literally lasts you forever like Moroccan oil oil will last you so long and the smell again is amazing so if you're looking for a good oil especially if you have really dry hair or curly hair and this is an argan oil it's really amazing for especially like for curly hair this next package is from absolute New York I'm pretty sure is the brand or just absolute and they sent over the metallic matte and metallic gloss lippies both available in 10 shades so I'm excited for these and there's a bunch of like nudes in here so I'm excited to try those out so persona cosmetics sent over their new Cali glow highlighters and the packaging is really cute Zuma Laguna and Del Mar look at how beautiful this one is it's a really pretty bronzy color Oh, I'm so excited for these and the packaging is really nice. It's like sleek and nude and I really like the whole aesthetic for the whole brand So that's from persona cosmetics. I received a bunch of lashes from D boutique it says welcome to the DB team We hope you love our lash collection and look at how cute the packaging is. It's marble The lashes look really really good. I love the really thick like furry Hairy lashes like that lily lash style. These remind me of like Miami with a little separation I just I love lashes so much and I'm always switching out my lashes Like I don't reuse them as often as I should so getting lashes is like so amazing because it really changes up your whole look Depending on what lashes you use, but these are all really pretty. I like these a lot Dolce I, just, I like all of them. I feel like I should put a light or something. It's really dark. So they sent me a bunch of lashes So I'll be rocking these in tutorials and on Instagram. So thank you to D Boutique So I have another package from Too Faced and this one says the best sex you've had in bed But look at this little bed package. It's so stinking cute. I love the little pillows And so they sent over a whole year supply of mascara so basically you're supposed to switch out your mascara so january to march april to june july to september october to december and it's in celebration of better than sex day which is february 10th if only everything else in your bed was a short thing and this is america's number one selling prestige mascara i did not know that you can never have enough mascara so thank you Too Faced for replenning me i'm good for one whole year next up i got a really cute package from rincon cosmetics they sent over this really cute robe it's like this nice silky robe and then their heartbreaker pro eyeshadow palette and it has this really nice also rose gold packaging Ooh, these colors are gorgeous look at how pretty like this really pretty purple right here cupid it's so up my alley and i love that you also have some like neutral lid shades mattes a really good array of like transition colors a really nice deep shade this palette looks bomb. I'm so excited to use this. Rincon Cosmetics, you stepped it all the way up. Next up, we got more lashes, and these are from Lash Goddess. Bomb marble packaging, and I love this packaging because it's so unique. It has a little, a little drawer. So these are in the style ebony, and they're really thick, really dramatic, right up my alley. Even though these are not as dramatic as the other ones, I really like these lashes. I like lashes that don't automatically like wisp out at the end I like these because they go from like short long to short and I feel like those flatter my eyes the most So thank you to lash goddess for these bomb lashes. I can't wait to try them I also got this letter in the mail and I'm so down when I was cutting the package I actually broke the letter. So this letter is from Sierra. It says hi Rosita Firstly, forgive me. I tend to ramble too. I can't put into words what finding your YouTube channel has meant in my life it Might sound corny, but it's hundred percent true in 2015 contouring showed up on my radar and I went out and bought the $40 on a a contour kit not knowing one thing about contouring or makeup for that matter I searched on YouTube for I would find one person's video and that would be it Well, I found your video and the whole beauty community was opened up to me little did I know that roughly three years later I'd be a die-hard rosebud I love that little fan name and truly love all things beauty girl. I currently own 130 eyeshadow palettes alone. Oh my god oh, That's so awesome so, me and her actually um, messaged each other. Well, she messaged me a picture of the um, Lila palette. And she said she copied my dark green eye look from the Deck of Scarlet palette. And I've commented on her picture. And she's been through a lot. And my channel, you know, is somewhere that she goes to, you know, for kind of like a mood changer, like a release. 
oh, I want you to know what your career choice and attitude means to people you don't even know. Like, this this is so inspiring. And so, she has her own album, which she included. I still think everyone has CD players, which is so funny because now the Mac computers don't come with a CD drive. And so, she sent it to my P.O. box. And so, it's called Hearing Things, produced by Don Michael Jr. I'm going to leave her information down below. I'm so excited to hear these songs. She told me, like, which songs she thinks I would like. And I'm so incredibly proud of you even though i don't know you in person thank you so much for following your dreams like i'm not even thanking you for supporting me like i'm thanking you for supporting yourself and and just from the letter you know that you wrote me like i know life hasn't been a walk in the park but the fact that like i'm holding your music is so isn't that so amazing i'm gonna listen to these i'm gonna write to you i'm gonna go follow you if i'm not following you already i'm gonna go follow you on instagram snapchat i know we talk but sometimes it's it gets so crazy on Snapchat and Instagram, but I'm going to go follow you and I'm going to hope that everyone does the same. I'm going to leave your information, Ciara, in my description bar and I hope people support you. I'm going to go support you. I'm going to go listen to these. I actually don't have a CD player. Maybe my mom does somewhere, has one, but I'm going to go find you on Apple Music and support you, girl. So thank you so much for your letter and for your, your work. That's amazing. I'm so happy you got into makeup and you're following your dreams with makeup and also with your music. So thank you so much for that letter. I love it and I'm going to write you back. I also received this letter from Yadi and her website is herceo.com. And she sent me this beautiful letter and basically the purpose of it was to thank me for being a light in her life. So this letter I'm not going to read to you because it's something that I want to share with her personally and I want to write back to her. But Yadi was saying how she also went through something you know pretty traumatic in her life and she's thanking me for being a light in her life but she doesn't know that she's actually the light in mine and you guys are all the light in my life and I go through things too and YouTube can be such a great escape like it's not just makeup it's not just tutorials it's not just vlogs like it's an escape and it's a moment of peace and it's a moment of us time and I'm so happy that I even made you happy if you're watching this at the end of the letter she says this is just a thank you letter and I want to gift you a book that changed my career two years ago I want to pay it forward it's called girl code she's amazing and it changed my life feliz año 2018 que dios te bendiga con mucho amor salud prosperidad y felicidades my youtube name is her ceo and so she sent me this book girl code unlocking the secrets to success sanity and happiness oh my god i can't wait to read this i literally have had this sitting there but i didn't want to like take a look at it until i sat down and actually filmed this part of the vlog but thank you so much it's things like this that mean so much to me like the just the thought that you had to send this to me and, you know, just thanking me for just doing what I do. I just, I, I thank you, you know, for supporting me and for being there for me. I'm going to write you a letter, so I don't want to get too emotional on here. But I also received two more letters to my P.O. box, so I'm going to be opening these up right now and writing back. Um, I went to an Inglot event, and so I see that we got some eyeshadows, little freedom system eyeshadows so i'm gonna go ahead and put these in the little palette that they also included i don't own any single inglot eyeshadows so i am curious to see how these perform oh this is a really pretty color it's like a pretty mauve so my eyeshadows are a little bit broken so i'm just gonna go ahead and move on to the next item this is the face eyes and body highlighter in medium sparkler i actually have one of these and i love it this one's actually smaller oh and this one is pink this looks like a really pretty like blush topper that does it no justice it's super duper sparkly oh yeah that would be really pretty as a blush it's super sparkly you just can't see it you can kind of see it there but it's super pretty and it's a nice pink shade i think this would be really pretty on top of a matte blush and then last but not least, just this Inglot Diamond Lip Tint Liquid Lipstick. And it's just this really cool, like, gunmetal bronzy shade. So that's what I got from Inglot. Next up, we have this really huge package from L'Oreal. And this is for the Lumi Collection. They just launched a bunch of products, including some 
like liquid illuminators these are the glow enhancers there's a glow boosting drop there's some loose shimmers these are illuminating highlight show powders and then even these little palettes here which are quads this thing is huge so i'm going to take these out of here and use some in my drugstore trying new makeup products so i'm going to be trying these out and i love that they're all like highlighting products because i love highlights and i'm really excited for the loose shimmer i feel like i'm really gonna love those so thank you to l'oreal for this amazing amazing package <laughs> Okay. Just to give you that amplified glow. Yeah. Like I have it on all over my face with just concealer. So I'm at Charlotte Silvery and I am trying on both. He's trying the flawless filter on me. You can use it as a primer foundation or I'm using it right now as an illuminator. Transformed my face. We added shade three on my cheek. So this product does come in different shades. So there's like deeper ones that are really, really pretty. So we use shade three on my cheek. Sorry, my hair looks a hot mess. It's snowing, girl. I don't listen. And then shade two on my nose and right in the center. And I kid you not, my skin was so dry, and now it's just looking luminous. And the thing about this is that it doesn't have glitters, like chunks of like sparkle. It's just sheen. It's just like a mirrored glow. And I'm so here for it. Like it even felt moisturizing going on my skin. So I'm so excited. And you can use this under your makeup, over your makeup, touch up, like literally throughout the whole day. Someone just came up to me and told me that they use it under their eyes. Like you know, midday, like how your under eye gets a little dry and creepy. So they just kind of pat it along their eyes, like where the fine lines are. And voila, I'm so into it. I'm so excited. I can't wait to try it. I'm so happy I made it. It's so bad outside. It's snowing. Well, it was snowing all day, but something told me I had to make it today. The glow is real. I came for the glow. So I'm gonna enjoy my champagne and enjoy this highlight. And yeah, I will catch you with you guys back at home. Look at the layup of all of these products. Got the lippies. They just put on screen siren on top of whatever I had on, which is actually the Fenty. I love these blushes, you guys know. Even though they look like little boobies, <laughs> they're so freaking good. This is my favorite one, first love. I've never tried her eyeshadows, so I have to dabble in those. I love her lip liner, especially Pillow Talk. We have the Magic Foundation. This is my favorite powder ever. Medium is my shade. I love that. Love this too, the Sculpt and Glow. This is a deeper one. Then you have her skincare. Love this primer. I just tried on the fragrance. It's interesting. Um, I have to kind of let it sink in. It has like 14 different layers. So I will see how that goes. But yeah, I'm so honored to be here. This is my first Charlotte Tilbury event. So I'm obsessed with this new product, the Flawless Filter. And they said that we can pick out our shades when we are on our way out. So I'm definitely going to do that. So I literally just spoke Spanish with Charlotte herself. And I'm kind of shook. I'm kind of like on cloud nine right now, but I'm gonna head out now, finally. I'm like the last girl, bye. Hey guys, good morning. So I'm on my way to get my makeup done. So I've only ever gotten my makeup done three times ever in my life. Actually, once for Halloween, if you saw the Halloween video, but one of my best friends, Angie, is gonna be doing my makeup because I have a photo shoot today. So normally I would just do my own makeup, but I have been dying to link up with Angie and just see, you know, like what different things she does to my face. And we want to film a video together for her doing my makeup. So I kind of want to just, you know, play around today and she's going to do it for the shoot. And then maybe we'll recreate the look for YouTube. But she does like a lot of celebrity makeups. I don't know if you guys have been following her. Um, I'll leave her Instagram down below. I love her. She's so amazing i'm so proud of her but she's done like ashanti's makeup little kim like just literally everyone in the industry keisha kior i think that's how you say keisha kior uh gucci Mane's wife like she's just done so many celebrities and she's someone that i look up to in the makeup industry for a really long time so i'm just really proud of her and I, i'm honored that she's gonna do my makeup for a photo shoot so i'm doing a photo shoot today with a photographer that i've been dying to shoot with and I forgot to tell you guys, but I do have a manager now, which is pretty exciting. And they set up a photo shoot for me and Jayla. 
and basically because I'm having like something going on for BeautyCon and IMATS so I'm really pumped to let you guys know about that but I needed some new hot shots so that's what we're doing today and I just finished getting my hair straightened it's super sleek that's how I wanted it and I think I'm gonna do something really natural because I feel like when I do my makeup I go kind of ham so I kind of want it to look still like very skin like glam but like a beat but natural you know so I brought a bunch of makeup to touch up if I need to or tweak anything because you know everybody's makeup style is different um, I've only ever gotten my makeup done by Angie once in California. Charlene did my makeup for a video and then I got my makeup done for my high school prom a while ago and it was like no lashes, no foundation. It was something really simple. So I don't really get my makeup done. I just wanted to let you guys know that's what we're doing today. So I'm heading to the Bronx in an Uber and um, yeah, we shall see what today brings us. I also have a couple of errands to run afterwards. It's like 60 degrees right now and then it's gonna snow tomorrow it's gonna be 30 woke up i slept like four hours but i'm in a good mood and kind of nervous kind of not because i've seen his work i know he does like great work and i'm just it's about time i get like professional professional ones done like in a studio i've gotten headshots done like in houses and it just it wasn't the look that i wanted so i'm excited to finally have these and when you're in this business like you need to have those for just like yourself to brand yourself but also because brands ask you for headshots so that's what we're doing little bts behind the scenes of the business so i'll see you in a few hey cuddy and cam hi my boyfriend hi my boyfriend i missed you guys look at you with your hair cut don't be jealous don't be jealous Hey guys, so I made it to the photo shoot. I'm with Jayla, Cherry, and we took amazing pictures. Well, he took amazing pictures of us. We did white backdrop, pink backdrop, and red. So we're in the moment, we're in the field. Lighting is bomb. Let me show y'all Jayla over here. Look at her on her professional. I'm getting this light right now. Looking like the baddest substitute teacher that just walked in and just like, okay, so listen. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to slay. Okay. <laughs> I will catch up with you guys later. I need to go get something to eat after this and just go home and rest. Well, maybe I'll film a video actually. We're already glad, we should film a video. But we have something coming up in April and I'm really excited. I can't tell you just yet because we're just finalizing things, but y'all gonna be excited. It's something you guys have been asking for, so we brought it for you. So I'll see you in a few. So we made it to Mama Sushi. I'm putting I'm putting Layla off the Yes. So Mama Sushi. I hope she likes it. But she didn't get some Dominican sushi, but she's gonna try mine. I'm gonna try yours. She's gonna try mine. I'll put her on. So we're actually at Mama Sushi that is not in Dykeman. I didn't even know there was another location. And you guys know I'm always at the one at Dykeman. So I got the chinola mojito and she got the strawberry to match her little her vibe. <laughs> so we're gonna enjoy this. And it's happy, happy hour. So that's always good. It's always good. She got salmon and I got sushi. So I'll show you when we got our food. And uh, it's just a gloomy day, but we're just enjoying our, our time. Girl time. So we just got our food and I told you I got the Dominican sushi so I'm gonna catch Jayla's reaction to the sushi live That's right now. We were, doing, weren't we? we were but we we had someone take pictures <laughs> thumbnail. So we we gonna do this. Are you gonna go with a fork? Yeah. I wanna try this out. She don't wanna try the chopsticks. I cannot use chopsticks. You could. Listen, I don't. I can't. For real. Okay, do it. Do you want to be right okay, here? Okay, am I dipping into something? Um, I would say try one without and then one with. I want you. <laughs> That's the best advice I can give you. All the flavors, all the flavors. With the salami, it will be a little bit saltier. It gives it a little bit more of a flavor. Plantain, fried cheese, avocado, and rice. Mm -hmm. ah, this one, yeah, that's plant. Oh, you had this one? No, you have one of these. Oh, that's pretty good. It takes a while to go down. <laughs> you gotta make it go down. You gotta wash it down. That's a little dry. Mm -hmm. It's a different. It's like an explosion of taste. Yeah, did you have the sweet? Um, one is like spicy mayo, and this is ketchup mayo. This one's good. Meat in here? No meat. What is it? It tastes like the meat. fried cheese. Fried cheese. Fried cheese. I swear it tastes like it's meat in here. It's fried cheese. I hope it's not meat. Wait, does it have meat? No, it's fried cheese. Chinola. 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 Hey, we are now at Jayla's house. Welcome to Jayla's crib. Yeah, we got the pictures. 
from our photo shoot so we also have to like look at that because we're like eager we really want to see these we really want to pick we want to make our choices get these edits going so we can have our photos professionally done <laughs> i i did like it it's just it was i should have got something different yeah the so, steak next time <laughs> we'll go somewhere else next time jayla what you got me into <laughs> anything is possible anything is cheers. cheers to our big surprise coming up in april i hear that Oh, it's hot. I can't even take it out. Empty. I'm the worst shot taker in the world. What? <laughs> hey. So I'm kind of sort of addicted to sweet green. I've been coming here now every time I'm in the city. I just love this bowl. I got Caesar dressing on the side today, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. But guess what? When I was checking out, the guy was so nice. He was like, it's on me. I'm like, okay, thanks. And like, now I feel like weird. I want to go like buy a drink, but I don't want to go buy, I don't want to go like ask him for the drink. <laughs> but I want to pay for it. But anyway, I'm going to eat my food and I will check in with you in a bit. So I'm back in this spot. I've had a crazy couple of days. I don't know. I've just been kind of like to myself and I don't know if it has anything to do with like planets orientation you know scorpios if you're a scorpio you need to follow scorpio mystique on instagram because she posts the realest scorpio things i've ever heard of that it gives me just peace of mind like if i'm going through a day that i'm just like in my feelings and then i go read all of these other scorpios like saying the same thing or like if i have a great day and then i go and see it and they're having great days like it just kind of helps me process things and not make me feel bad about how i'm feeling and like i got a couple comments in my february favorites like if i was feeling down and i wasn't feeling down like my life is pretty much exactly how it was but i've just been feeling like not super hyper you know what i mean and i don't know if it has to do with the weather because i love sunny days and it really has been just shitty as hell in new york so maybe it's the weather maybe it's the planets maybe i just needed to reserve my energy like sometimes i'm not or most of the times i'm not like jumping off of the walls with energy like i have a very like monotone sometimes voice or not monotone because i do like go up and down but it's just not super extra and i feel like so many people are getting so used to watching other youtubers who are like in the high numbers who are so high in energy and that's great for them i'm like that's amazing why is coco crying oh i gave coco a tree and it was too big and now he's crying because he likes to hide it but he's so picky about where he hides it sorry but um yes yeah, so i feel like some youtubers are so like extra and that's like them but i'm not like that like i'm just very chill like i feel like someone who is kind of like the same personality i guess as me is like melissa flores like and she's a scorpio too which is funny but like when i watch her like i never think like oh my god like, why does she sound down like i just like that's her voice like we are, we're happy but it's just sometimes we're just like that i don't know how to explain it come here coco Back to what we were doing. I have a couple of packages that I wanted to open up. And I like opening them up with you because one, like, I know, like, some of you get excited about new makeup. Or most of you get excited about new makeup. And I do. And I like to look back at my vlogs and, like, see, like, oh, that came out at that time. I don't know. I just like to document things. Okay. I literally have my flashlight on for some light. So I have this package from Morphe X Bretman. Bretman Rock. I can't. I'm, I was going to try to impersonate him right there, but... <laughs> like I, I, I that was so bad i can't i can't do it okay i just can't do it um but i've actually met him and he's so sweet when i met him he was actually really like like regular you know he wasn't being super extra i was like um where is the real bretman and he was like i left there at home like he, he was just so silly and just so down to earth so this is his new collaboration with morphe and the packaging is so cute look at the leaf you can see his little eyes through the leaf. Like, that's so creepy but cute. And it says, hey, bitch. I just wanted to say mahalo for letting a part of my life become a part of your makeup routine. The islands are a melting pot of people from all different ethnic backgrounds and cultures. I hope this palette embodies the aloha spirit of togetherness. Love you, bitch. Bretman Rock. Like, that is just so him. And then the packaging is really cute. It's called Babe in Paradise. It's a highlighter palette. And I love this. Like, even the packaging has his name. I love that the Morphe palettes come wrapped and i love that it's not just like a black palette this is let me see let's cut them up for him so this is what the palette looks like i kind of want to swatch it Ooh, it's like really really smooth Ooh, there's like a pinky shade Mahu. what 
Look at this. We don't even have a light up in here. I mean, we do have a light, but you know, we don't have like a ring light. It's still dark in here and it looks amazing. You could just tell when you swatch a highlight and it's smooth and it's not patchy and dry, it's gonna be good. Okay, we're back. We are back and we're back and we're back here on the floor because I had a request to do a Bath and Body Works like haul. My lips look a little weird because I had a red lipstick on, it stained my lips, I put a pink gloss on and that's what we're working with. It looks very strange for me because I normally don't do that and Coco is back. I went to Bath and Body Works, I think this was a couple of days ago and they came out with little Zodiac candles. So of course I get Scorpio. The Scorpio one is Blue Ocean Waves because we're a water sign and it's nice I mean I didn't really get it for the scent I got it because of the signs this one is Capricorn and this one is rose water and ivy which is one of my favorites really for Capricorn I would have never picked that for Capricorn and then I got Taurus and this one actually smelled kind of similar to Capricorn Oh, because it is. It's rose, water, and ivy. So I'm guessing all the earth signs are rose, water, and ivy. Rose because it's earth. Water sign, blue ocean waves. But aren't these super cute? And they were like 3 for $12 or something, which was really good. I got a bunch of these little hand sanitizers because I use these all the time. This is French lavender, resting beach face. Beach don't kill my vibe, which I really like that one. I had that last year and I liked it. Mermaid life and Honolulu sun. I always carry those like in my makeup travel bag. I have one in my room all the time, in my purse. So now we're going to move on to the candles. This is probably one of my favorite scents of all time. It's a very weird scent. Okay, so it's basically called 24 Karat Gold and it's one of their new custom fragrance blends. This is one of their experimental candles. So they had a whole section full of like the strangest names. Like they had Sriracha, like I think Wasabi. Like they had like the weirdest things. But this one caught my eye obviously because it said 24 Karat Gold. It says... Sunlit breezes, moss absolute, crisp lavender, and chilled eucalyptus. I love eucalyptus. And this smells like Irish spring soap in a candle. And I know that's probably so weird, but I'm obsessed with the smell of like, you know when someone's taking a shower? My phone is ringing, of course. It also smells like coast. It just smells like, or like dial body soap. It just smells like soap. It smells like a clean shower. You know when someone... It's taking a shower and they're using like a bar of soap and then when they finish like the whole bathroom smells like that that's what that reminds me of and i love that smell i don't know i get really weird about like those kind of smells i also love the smell i had like a body wash that was like tea tree oil and i think it had eucalyptus oil and i just was so obsessed with the blend it's from amazon it's like the brand is called like the fence or something it's like super weird to like that kind of smell but i like it this is tiki beach this isn't really my kind of scent, but I don't know really why I picked this up. It's very tropical, like coconutty. I don't know. I just, sometimes I just walk into Bath Body Works and I don't even know what else to pick. Like, I just, I'm over like the super manly scents. Like, they kind of give me a headache. This one is Wild Sage and Aloe. Oh, this one's so good. This one smells like Dolce Gabbana light blue. And I figured my mom would really like this one for the living room because of the color of the candle. And then I just picked up another of the 24 karat gold. So only four candles. Um, I didn't go too ham there. So this next package is from Dr. Dennis Gross. And this is for their new Alpha Beta Pore Perfecting Cleansing Gel. Interesting. I shall try that. These are super, super popular. These are the daily peels. So this is the extra strength daily peel. And this is just the regular universal daily peel which I definitely need a peel. Tomorrow I'm getting a facial, actually. And this is the moisturizer that goes with that cleanser. This is the Alpha Beta Exfoliating Moisturizer. I've actually never heard of an exfoliating moisturizer. So that should be interesting. Thank you so much to Dr. Dennis Gross. Not sure where this is from. It just says Rosa. Ooh, pretty. It's like hair accessories from La Tada. Ooh, this is so cute. Look at this headband. These are little like hairpins. Well, this is cute. It's like a marble hairpin. These are cute, um, like suede velour kind of hair ties. Really cute. And a little mini hairspray. Thank you. I actually needed a good headband to pull my hair back from when I'm doing my makeup. And this one's nice because it's not going to give me a headache. Like it's not tight. 
but it does a job of pulling my hair back so i think i just found the solution to my problem well i guess we're just gonna keep the headband on for a little bit but this next package is super cute it's from drunk elephant and it actually came inside of this which it just says multivitamin c tango and i'm like what is this like powder so it's like these little straws that are full of vitamin c but inside of here was the actual product that they're releasing which is the drunk elephant c tangle multivitamin eye cream i actually did try this out today and i really liked it underneath my eyes so this is a brightening combination it has eight peptides five forms of vitamin c and cucumber extract for firmer stronger looking skin around the eye area i actually used this before makeup and it was fine underneath my concealer and it has one of these little twist ups and i really liked it it kind of comes out like just like a lotion and then when you rub it in it feels really really hydrating which i love for an under eye cream because it just and it actually smoothed out my eyelids too like i put it on my eyelids which have been real crazy lately real dry so I'm really pumped. This is, I feel like this is going to be one of my favorite eye creams. I could just tell like by the formula and how smooth and hydrating it is. And like it left my under eye like nice and shiny and plump. And it worked under makeup, which is important. And this is so cute. They sent this. It says, look on the bright side. What is this lip? Girl, if you don't take this dang thing off. How pretty is this Laura Mercier clutch that was sent my way? It's super cute in person. It's like the perfect little nude bag. And inside is the Laura Mercier Boheme Chic Eye Clay Palette. It's this cute little palette. And look at these beautiful colors. You can see them right there. I just swatched this like rose gold shade. And it's gorgeous in person. It's super bright. So super cute little palette and clutch. So thank you to Laura Mercier. I got a package from Melanie Mills. And this is their Gleam Body Radiance in rose gold which is actually my favorite one this mixed in with lotion and it's actually not really like a rose gold i feel like it's more of a bronzy gold oh my gosh but this is heaven and i want to start using this as a primer because a lot of people use that as a primer and it looks so good on their skin because it's very moisturizing as well yay i'm so excited so i need to clean up i need like major clean up on owl here because this place is a hot mess like the pr packages are consuming me and i'm just i'm very grateful but i'm i'm scared of the mess that i've made oh and i got my hair done today by a professional celebrity hairstylist and it was so fly earlier like it's still fly but i took a nap i was all over the place and it snowed today and it still looks bomb fantastic i wish my hair could look like this every single day she used a dyson hair dryer and then a curling wand and then left like the ends out so it has like the straight ends and just i love it i'm feeling myself well not with this lip but i was feeling myself earlier so yeah i'm gonna go put on some music i'm obsessed with the song all the stars i'm just gonna put that on jam out and clean up so i'll catch you another time